Tiffany. I'm a physical therapy student here at Elon. And today I'm going to talk about how to use neuromuscular electrical stem on patients who've had a total knee replacement. So my question before searching for my research article was how to attenuate the quadricep muscle loss that you see with patients who go through this surgery. And my title of my article is Early Neuromuscular Electrical Stimulation to Improve Quadricep quadriceps muscle strength after total knee arthroplasty. It's a randomized controlled trial and it has a level of evidence of two. The target population, like I said, is people with unilateral total knee replacements and the type of electrotherapy we're gonna use is a neuromuscular electrical stimulator. And um, in the article they have them placed in a chair seated so with the knee bent and down here they use a Velcro strap. I improvised and used my belt since I couldn't find a Velcro strap. Um, they also use these rectangular electrodes on the lateral and medial portions of the thigh here. And so prior to their surgery, the patients came in and they taught them about where to place these. They also put little markings on their legs so when they go home and use this for six weeks after their discharge from the hospital, they can complete it themselves. So the specific electrotherapy parameters that they used in the article were these self-adherent um, rectangular electrodes. They used a biphasic current symmetrical waveform at 50 pulses per second, 15 seconds ohm, including a three second ramp up and 45 seconds off with a pulse duration of 250. I said 252 because this particular model doesn't go to 250 microseconds. And then what we're looking for are 15 electrically elicited, elicited contractions per session. So that totals about 15 contractions if you can get it to the intensity that gives them a full contraction of their quad. All right, and so I've already preset the parameters on this particular um, article, according to this article's parameters. So all I have to do is match start. Um, so I turned it on and I hit large muscle and I did custom. And then I went through and set all the parameters I was just talking about. And then you just go through and set the intensity to whatever that patient can handle. And the patients were also told to increase the intensity as they felt like they could handle more when they're at home by themselves. Tell me when you feel something, Cassandra. Let's start with Tiffany. Okay. All right. And so what they found with this article was that the patients that received the neuromuscular electrical stem, not the control group, um, it attenuated the quadricep muscle loss and improved their six minute walk test distance and it also improved their functional performance. And so the control group only received physical therapy, but the, the test group, the treatment group, got this neuromuscular electrical stem two times a day for those 15 contractions. And that's from 48 hours post-op until six weeks at their follow-up. And so they saw some good um, quadricep strength post that compared to the control group. And in my opinion, I would use this for patients who are status post any type of TKA, I mean, if it helps to attenuate the um, quad quadricep muscle loss, it's definitely beneficial for us to use in our practice. So it's something I would recommend if the patient could tolerate it and had the time or the, also the access. Yep. All right.